Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. I don't know. I don't trust it. It looks like it's thicker here and thinner there, like I saw earlier. And so that means that we can't trust anything in here. And there's nothing, there's no other machine surfaces here that, that, uh, got machined at the same time that this uh, this sleeve got machined except for this surface right here which goes you know which uh, sandwiches into the generator itself so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this surface just a little bit get some of the corrosion off All right, let's put this back on. Now, we're going to lock this thing in place, and any place is fine. And rather than try to get something with the coax, I think we're going to come in because this has uh, got this broken edge here and the coax really isn't going to work. Let's bring this in. Let's see, we want to turn it around and bring it down. There we go. almost made it that's kind of made it there we go Well, we're way off that way, that's for sure. We can bring this back around. A little bit longer. Alright, we got to put some oil on this. It's just going to grind itself into oblivion. All right, there we are. Now.
Two and a half. Look at that. Okay. We'll come into here, and that's about five. And that's two and a half. And that's two and a half. I'd say that's it. Okay. I'm happy there. see what we can do with that. Oh. This generator housing uh, we've taken uh, we got it within about a hundred thousandths of where we want to go so uh, hey we're just gonna turn on the machine and start cranking All right, well, I can't really get into this thing with a uh, snap gauge. So I think what we're gonna do is get out the old uh, inside micrometer and give ourselves a more accurate well, it's not more accurate, but I can get down in there at least. Measure the bearing.
close enough. And this is definitely going to be too long. Well, I don't know. That looks reasonable. The question is, is there going to be gauges to work from? Yep, there's zero. And we're about a hundred thousandths under at that point right there. So that's pretty good. So we just work down until this fits and then go another 80 or 100 thousandths. All right, so crank it in another 10, 20, 30, and let's get rolling. All right, well, we're down to our last 20 thousandths, and we're going to take 10 at a time. So right now we're sitting at a little above zero. So we're going to take it. And that should be 10 right there. Well, five per side. Let's crank that down. All right, we had that one little hair hanging out there. Let's wipe this surface and get a final measurement. That should do it. And our measurement is 108. Well, not 108. More like 2, 4, 25, 35. So we are 5,000 short of our mark. Let's see what our bearing looks like. Yep, it's almost there. In fact, it kind of hangs on a little bit. I'm gonna take a second measurement of the bearing just to make sure. Then we're gonna take the measurement of the Okay, this may have moved a little bit. Yep, 
and since we're down to the wire it's best to all right there's our there's our measurement and we are looking at That's about it right there. 435, 436 and a half. And we want to go to Four forty and a half. Four forty one. So four forty and a half. And that takes us exactly to the size of the bearing, which he wants a slip fit. So we need to go five thousandths. Okay, five thousandths it is. Let's put our indicator back on. Snug it down. So that means, oops, hang on. We want to turn this thing around. Well, we can get to it from there. And that means two and a half thousandths. Come on. So what have we got? We've got one, two, and a half. And that should get us right to where we want to go. Fingers crossed. Okay, for all intents and purposes, this bearing should just slip right in. And it's gonna. A little bit snug, but it's gonna go. Come on, baby. All right, well, I think we're close enough that we could actually go in with just a little bit of sandpaper and clean that up a little bit and we'll get a nice slide fit so we're going to take this thing apart keep your fingers crossed and we'll be able to come in from behind it and loosen this back up again Follow me over here. 
All right, well, it looks to me, now that I'm on the side of it, it looks like the bearing got a little tweaked. So it could possibly be the, the right size, just, uh, just a little off-center. Um, better that it's too tight than too loose, right? I mean, it's so close. Let's see if we got any telltale rub marks. Boy, I'm not seeing a thing. You know, at this thickness, at this tolerance, a little piece of, uh, uh, you know, just a little piece of dust could uh, be enough to mess this up. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get a little brake cleaner and blow the shit out of this. Let's try it again. I mean, it wants to slide in there. All right, we're going to take just a little bit of sandpaper and scratch that up a bit. And just a little bit of turbine oil here. Come on. Still tight. Seems tighter.
Damn, almost there. Just a little bit tight. Let's see if we can just get it to relax. There it goes. There we go. Too tight, but close. Very close. Ta-da! <laughs> we did it! Okay, good. And that's all there is to this project. Come in and push it back out very easily. Okay, well that one was a, a bit of a push, but uh, you know, we got there and uh, I'm gonna, uh, this is a generator repair guy and it turns out that I've got a generator over here that, uh, and I'll spin you around to look at it, that I got out of a, an old RV that seems functional, it's just that the electrical is, is a bit wonky. And so I'm hoping to be able to trade this generator guy if he'll get this generator running. And uh, we'll just go from there. Um, so, this is Nick Collier checking out. <laughs>